what's going on guys it's your boy Dre and today we're going to be doing a unboxing and review of an upgrade slash new release of a product that we have already done that I've already done on the channel before about like three years ago it was the uh, training mask 2.0 so now we're going to do the training mask 3.0 and so I ordered it and I was like you know what I'm excited to use it because it's got like a new front part so I want to see what it is and so this is it in the packaging and yeah. Hey what's up y'all? Um, editing Dre here so I'm currently editing, rendering and, uh, and or adding graphics to this video as we speak but uh, we have a problem. Um, the video itself um, and the audio don't quite match up so my voice is a little bit faster and behind on the video if if you're seeing this that means that i could not get it synced up and or didn't know how so i very much apologize for that um i hope it doesn't bother you for the rest of the video if it does i completely understand um i'm sorry about that again i'll try to fix it but, um, yeah, enjoy the rest of my desynchronized audio. So, as you can see, Trainer Mask 3.0. It's got 3.0 on the side. And then... Get results faster, you know, all the kinds of stuff that you can do. Uh, it's also got the size weight distribution. Um, on the three, uh, for the 2.0, I got a small because I was at the time 125 pounds and um, the size requirement is small 100 to 149 medium is 150 to 249 and then a the large is 250 pounds plus I am 145 and I intend to grow so I got a medium and so let's open the bad boy up and I kind of I kind of like the front of it though I think it's got a nice small package, but I think the 2.0 came in a bigger box, so I'm kind of sh shocked about that. And um, I think the back is pretty cool, though. It's got like a bunch of different ways that it can help you. So it says improve mental focus, boost c workout capacity, burn fat and build muscle faster, increase endurance and stamina, and improve athletic performance, which is uh, definitely what I would like to do. So yeah, let's um, let's try to open this right now. I should have had a knife ready. But who needs a knife when you got your own hands? Yeah. All right. So we shake the box, and as you're opening it, you got that cool little training mask logo and stuff like that. Sorry about that glare. There's a there's a window right there, and this isn't my room, as you can tell. This is my cousin and my best friend's house. I'm currently dorming with him for college, so yay. There's gonna be an update video on that one, so be ready for that. So it says stop, do not return to store in the nice black box in there. The inside of the black box, I should say. And this is what you see when you open it. It's got the training mask, the 3.0. I think it looks really nice, and it's got a cool sleeve. So this is all silicone, this part right here. Silicone, I think it's silicone, I'm pretty sure. It says training mask right there. I can't really see it, but this is the, uh, I'm pretty sure this is the valve trainer. I don't really know that much, so please don't come for me. However, I know that this is the sleeve that goes on it, and it looks pretty cool it's got the uh, training mask logos on each of its sides so you know what product you're using and so you can be hey, ayo sponsor me just kidding that'd be great though uh y'all want to sponsor me on the uh so instagram you hashtag training mask or you can tag them so i mean it's kind of cool i'm gonna do that so if you guys want to follow my instagram make sure you follow my instagram i'll link it down in the description or on the tag card or, or whatever Follow my social medias if you would like to. I'm not going to force it. But it would be much appreciated. However, here we go with the um, 
the manual. This is a big, very long manual. Congratulations, it's designed to bring, the 2.0 is designed to bring performance breathing to your training sessions via the multi patented NXT Force Airflow pa platform. I am having a very hard time reading this, so I will not read all of it, but um, it's got, oh, it's nylon polymer sleeve, it's genuine chain, training mask, stitched logo, it's custom vented faceplate, charcoal accented logo, so that's why it's gray and black, it's because it's charcoal colored, uh, dual up intensity, so um, this part right here is, or this part right here, I'm sorry. This part right here is basically the signs of where you can breathe it for. So like down here is a lot harder to breathe while over here is a lot easier to breathe. And so I think that the more that you turn it up, so looking at it from this perspective, this is easier to breathe. That's harder to breathe because uh, I don't know if you can see it, but inside, sorry, I'm having a hard time adjusting. But if you look inside, um, you can definitely see that the switch in the white it lets in more airflow and less airflow, more airflow, less airflow. Oh, there we go. There's the focus we were looking for. That's cool to play with. Anyways, so we got novices uh, set for zero point. So as you go up, you change, you go all the way down. So looking at it from my perspective, this would be the hardest way. This is eventually where you want to get it to. And this is where you should start off with. I recommend everybody start off with here. So, not here. Not here. Not here. I mean here. Yes. Sorry. I got confused with my own uh, orientation of this mask. Okay. Let's move on to cleaning it since I did how to clean it last time. So, I'm assuming it, you have to take it all apart. So, I don't know how I'm going to do that henceforth I will try not to break it um, removing the faceplate of the training master printout place firm pressure on the faceplate of the palm of your hand on the thumb pad area center of the foot now next grasp of the list lips lip, lisp lips um, I don't know how to take it off and I really don't want to rip it so therefore I will not and if um, and if any of you know how to do it, then I suggest you do it on your training mask if you ever get one. And if you would like one, the link will of course be down in the description because that's what I did for the last one. And that's what I will do for this one. I'm probably going to get a sleeve or like a gold or like a, the pearl or platinum cover for it because I want to look cool and stylish because my last one was black and white and that was kind of, kind of bland. And so I would like to do like a different color one. I'll, I like to go more more out there and stuff like that so here's how we are going to put on the front ah it slipped there we go make sure that the dial is through first I like that the sleeves are stretchy even on the 2.0 the sleeves were really stretchy well this one is extremely stretchy the other one it was stretchy enough to the point where I didn't have difficulties like I am now because I'm having difficulties talking and doing it what's wrong with me you think I'd be pretty okay at this okay 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 here we go so now it's on all the way it's got the uh, cover over here so that way it does not get intertangled and or intertangled so that way it doesn't get attached to anything else that is not the mask I'm gonna leave it on the easiest and I will attempt to breathe through this so I'm going to take off my magic thingy I don't know what to else to call that and if you have a hard time hearing me I will try to scream and so if that doesn't work then I don't know what to say but here we go ah Oh my guy!
Okay, so opening the opening and closing the valve is extremely is very different than so I'm taking big deep breaths in and when I close when I close it to very minimum you can probably hear the struggle in my voice as I'm screaming. I can't really take in that much air. It's very, very difficult. I like the fact that it's uh, a turn nozzle like this that allows the the valve thingy to open and close it by just by turning it because on the 2.0 you could uh, you you could take it off the strips and once you took it off then you could change them from 9k, 12k, 15, and 18, right? However, this one, this is a very different, very different uh, shape. Well, this part right here, not the uh, not the overall mask, because the overall mask kind of stayed the same. I don't know if you're having a hard time hearing me or not, but I will take off the mask. Okay. So wearing it for that short amount of time, you can feel the difference between when it's open and when it's closed, or when it's starting to be closed, or st anything like that. You can you can definitely tell. Because, I don't know if you can see, but right here, uh, you can't really see it, but right there where my finger is, at the very end of this, right where it's getting opening and closing, um, I can, I can see and feel the air that comes in, and when it's open, it's like a lot of air, when it's closed, it's very, very restricted, it's kind of hard to breathe, <laughs> I mean, that's what the mask is for anyways, but um, I very much think that it feels good, like around my face, like the nylon fabric, and it it just doesn't it doesn't hurt and it doesn't chafe on my face when I'm wearing it. Well, I haven't sweat in it or ran in it yet, but I like how it feels as of right now. And so um, I'm gonna try to scream again. I'm gonna try and be louder. Oh, around the ear. Oh, got up my hair. Okay, here we go. So what I did just now was um, I, t I wore it for a little bit and I let it, I tried to adjust to it. And so you're probably going to see like the red marks around my face because I was <laughs> trying to breathe in really hard. But I think this is a great product. I think it's, I think it's, I like the 2.0 and I like the style and the look of the 3.0. But I think um, the simplicity of the 2.0 was probably the best best but i like this one more because of the ability to change it even faster you don't have to take it off you don't have to like change the silicone or the silicone um vents that it had in the 2.0 so you didn't have to you didn't have to do you don't have to do that with this one with this one you can just turn it and that's how you don't even have to take it off or anything and that's how you're able to change the airflow and how much you you're getting inside and how much you're letting out I like I like this whole function. I think it's cool, and I think that if I get a different color, I'll feel more more uh, cool about it. But as of right now, I like this as it is. Uh, I think it's pretty cool, and so if you would like to buy one, or if you would like just to check out their website or anything like that, the link will of course be down in the description. And I I know I know believe me I know that I said that I would do updates with me wearing said training mask uh the 2.0 however i never did it because i just wore it for, i just wore it to football practice and i wore it on my own time 
and I did a lot of stuff with um, I did a lot of stuff with it that I didn't really do on camera and so uh, I'm planning on at least doing a couple videos with this like a couple workouts um, maybe I don't know yet it it just depends I guess um, but I like I like this one the 3.0 there is a 4.0, which is like the the one with like the vent, not the not the vent. The um, it looks like this, but it's like um, it's like a um, it's like an AC vent thing here, but you have to replace it and stuff like that. I I'm not about that. I don't like replacing things unless it's necessary. And with this one, you don't have to do that. You don't have to replace anything. You just turn it, take off the sleeve, and clean it. Wow, you see how easy that came off? Wow. I did not expect that. <laughs> but I kind of want to know how to take this off just so I can know how to clean it. And so I can change the front of it so I can get like a chrome black one or a chrome gold one or something. I'll figure, I'll figure it out. But as of right now, um, I appreciate you guys watching if you even did watch because I know that I haven't uploaded in five months. But that video is currently being edited on why I have not been uh, uploaded, uploading over the past five months like I should have been like I told everyone that I would be so I'm sorry about that one but that video is still being edited because I'm very indecisive on what I like to edit in and what I like to edit out so yeah but I appreciate you guys watching if you guys would like to either just look at the training mask 3.0 or just look at the training mask website um, I will very much be recommending it I highly I highly enjoyed the 2.0 and I think that I'll get a good amount of use out of this one. And so you might be wondering what I did with the 2.0. I'm not doing anything with it. I gave it to my younger brother. Um, he is in track and cross country. So him building, him using that to build up his lungs will be great for him. And me, I'm using this to build up cardio and my stamina and stuff like that. And so thank you guys for watching. If you guys liked it, don't forget to leave a like. Um, if you guys, that was PlayStation, sorry about that, um, don't forget to leave a like, uh, comment, share, subscribe, and, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video, peace.